Hello and welcome back to another WordPress tutorial and in this video you're gonna learn how to create a podcast website with WordPress. So if you have audio and video files and you are planning to create a website for them then this video is for you and don't worry if you don't have knowledge about WordPress and about web development. Just follow this video and you will be able to create this website easily. Now before creating the website let me show you a quick demo of the website so that you get the idea and you know in the advance it, that this video is for you or not. So as you can see this is the website that we are gonna create in this video and the best thing about this theme is this will provide you different looks, different colors and different fonts. So you can choose the fonts, colors and the demo according to your need. And in this video we are going to go with this specific demo as you can see we have the logo, the menu and a donate button. We have the heading, the subheading and this is for playing the audio. So here you can include a special audio so for example someone click on this then this will play the audio file right here. And this is a very powerful player as you can see you can forward the audio, you can increase decrease the volume you can increase decrease the speed you can also include your spotify apple and google audios and you can also share this so this is very really smooth and reliable player as well so as you can see this is the episode this is the name and again you can move next and forward you can also minimize this and you can also minimize this while playing that you like this and if you don't like this section then you can always switch the demo so let me show you how you can switch the demo and if I click on this then as you can see these are the demos that are available in this theme you can choose any one of these according to your need these are the color schemes so you can choose any of the colors as you want and as I talked earlier you can also switch the fonts so as you can see we are using this font and we can also switch the fonts Now let's scroll down and this is the featured show so here you can put your featured files as you can see you can play these these are basically the episodes so you can play any of these and this will open the same player. Now let's scroll down and by clicking this you can see all the episodes and these are the latest episodes so you can include your latest episodes over here and you can also go next and previous so this is a very suitable theme and suitable website for your audio and video files as you can see and we have different example of home page these are the layouts so you can check any of these these are the podcasts so for example i want to choose the first layout and then this is how it will look if you scroll down you can play this you can also play this from here and this is the description the introduction the timing and these are a few images so you can customize you can write your own text obviously and you can put your own audio files people will be able to comments on these and so on and let's go to shows and choose the first layout or second layout and this is how a show look like you can play this episode you can play this one and so on again you can go to next and previous and these are the blog posts so obviously if you want you can include your blog posts as well and there are different layouts available for the blog posts as well so this one is the first one which is simple one and if i click on posts so basically you can come to this link and i will provide a link to this theme in the description and you can choose any of the layout you can check any of the layout before finalizing any of the demo and you can see the features the blocks and so on so these are different headers also so as you can see we have different headers we have different type of paginations and short codes and so on so let's see how we can create this website now for creating any type of website you will need two things the domain and the hosting and basically domain is your website name for example google.com and facebook.com and hosting is just an online storage where your website files will be stored now there are a number of websites from which you can get your domain and hosting for example godaddy, siteground, hostinger and so on 
and the one i would suggest is this hostinger.com because this is very reliable and fast web hosting and the best thing about this web hosting is you will get a free domain and free ssl certificate along with the hosting so if you want to buy a hosting then you can go to the link in the description and there will be a discount link in the description where you can get more discount on the pricing and as you can see we have a free domain and a free ssl so if i scroll down and this is the normal web hosting and we need wordpress hosting because we are just creating wordpress website so we can switch to wordpress and here as you can see the plans are very really cheap this one is just two dollar per month three dollar per month and so on and the features that you are getting in each of the plans are given below so for example you need one website then you can go with this plan this will provide you 30 gb of ssd storage and 10,000 visits monthly you can also create an email account and it also include a free ssl now in all of these three plans you also get a free ssl with the free domain as you can see so basically the SSL is this lock icon which make your website secure and trustworthy and if you are, and if you are creating an e-commerce website then you must need to have this lock icon on your website because people will come and they will make payments so this is more secure as compared to the non-secure so once you go to the link in the description then you can choose any of the plans according to your need for example you need this one then you can click on select and this will take you to this page now here you can buy this hosting for one month 12 months 24 and 48 so the more time you choose the more discount you will get so as you can see if i choose so as you can see if you choose 48 months then you can save up to 80 percent and you can get the hosting for four years and just one for three dollars which is very cheap as compared to other hosting so if you choose any of these then you can scroll down you can create an account or you just need to log in with your google or facebook then just select your payment and here as you can see the details are given below you have ssl activation for free and a domain name for free and the normal price is very high but with the discount you can save up to five six five seven six dollar and just put your card details if you choose credit card you can also pay with paypal coingate and google pay once you do the payment then just click on submit secure payment and that's it and this is how you can buy a domain and hosting so once you buy a domain and hosting then you just need to sign in and i'll just sign in because i already have a domain and hosting and once you sign in this will take you to the dashboard of hostinger so this is the dashboard where you can manage your domain your hosting your databases and so on and the first thing we need is to install wordpress and i already have a website here and i already have installed wordpress now to show you i'll create another subdomain and we'll show you how you can install wordpress and how you can create that website so to create a subdomain i'll just scroll down and we'll go to subdomains and for creating a subdomain i'll just write the subdomain name and my main domain is right here so a name.softexpert.pk for example i'll write the help show and this is just a name and you can write any of the subdomain name so the help show.softexpert.pk this will be my domain once you write the name just click on create and this is how you can create a subdomain now i'll show you how to install wordpress on this subdomain but you can follow the same procedure for your main domain and to install wordpress just go back to the dashboard and scroll down and you will see an auto installer so just click on this and here are many cms and other programs that you can install and the one we will choose is the wordpress so i'll just click on select and here you will have to choose your domain name now as i told you i already have a website on this domain you can choose your main domain here i'll just choose the subdomain that i just created which is this one and here write the admin username, the password and then email and the website title. So I'll just fill this very quick. And here you can change the WordPress version and nowadays 5.8 is the latest version. So make sure you choose the latest version. And here you can choose your language. So I'll just choose English. And this will create a new database and a password. So just don't change these. Scroll down. 
you can turn on automatic updates or you can update to the minor version i'll just click this and we'll click on install and this is how you can install wordpress easily on your domain or a subdomain you just need to choose your domain and the subdomain and the rest of the process is the same so the subdomain that we just created is this one if you want to manage this then you can click on this and you can click on manage and here as you can see you can change a few core settings for example you can enable ports HTTPS you can put a maintenance mode on your website the flash caches and so on but I'll recommend not to change any of these and if you want to go to the dashboard of WordPress then you can go to then you can simply click on edit website and this will take you to WordPress dashboard where you can install the theme the plugin and can create your website and this is the WordPress dashboard where you can manage your website your themes plugins and so on now before creating the website let me show you a few quick settings that you can do and that is very useful for the WordPress and the first one is you just need to go to plugins and here as you can see there are a number of plugins which are already activated so we just need to deactivate them so just click on select all go to bulk action click deactivate and apply and we just need a clear dashboard where we can install the theme and we can create that website and we also need to delete these plugins so just select all and delete all click ok so i have deleted all the plugins now we will go to settings and we'll go to permalinks and here make sure you choose the first name and this is very useful because the link here will be easy to read and this is also good for the SEO and if you want to change the site title and the tagline you can go to general setting and as I write the title there as the help show you can change the tagline here for example this and you can scroll down and click on save changes the last thing is go to appearance and themes and you will find these three themes by default so make sure you delete all of these because we don't need this and we will keep just one theme in the dashboard so click on theme detail click delete ok and do the same for this one and before deleting this we will need to install a new theme so that we have one theme activated in our dashboard now if you want to check your website you can click on this and you can view your website so this is my domain name and as you can see we have this default wolfish theme now in order to get that look and that website we will need another theme and I'll provide a link in the description which will take you to this page. So this is the theme that we need for this. Now I already have buy this theme and if you want you can go to the link in the description and buy this theme. Once you buy this theme then you will have to go to your downloads. And here you can download the theme. So just click on download and you can download only Wolfish theme or you can download all the documentation. And once you download this you will get a file like this. So just open this and these are the documentation licensing and this is the main theme. So just extract these and to extract these just drag this over here. And that's it. Now we will upload this theme to our Wolfes dashboard and to upload this theme we will just go back to our dashboard. And here make sure you are on the themes page and click on add new. And instead of installing a new theme we will just upload that theme. So click on upload theme. Choose file. And select the file that we just extracted. So this is the megapoon theme. We will select this and we will open this. And we will click on install now. And now as you can see theme installed successfully so we can activate this 
and now we can delete this theme because we just need one theme in the dashboard now you can do everything inside this theme and you can install the plugins and you can create that website but i would suggest to use the child theme of this theme because everything you do changes in the child theme that will not last while the theme updates so just click on add new and you will also get a file with the theme as you can see we have the child theme over here so we will upload this theme as well so go to themes and upload a theme choose file and this time choose the child theme which is this one and click on install now and as you can see the parent theme is already installed so we just need to activate the child theme and that's it now as you can see our child theme is activated now we can run the visit to achieve everything in this theme so every time you choose a theme you upload a theme they will suggest you a few plugins and few steps which you can follow and you can create the website so let's run the visit so we just need to click on start and as you can see install plugins so we just need a few plugins not a few a lot of plugins which we need for running this theme properly so we just need to install these so i'll just click on install and this will start installing the plugins one by one and as we install all the plugins this is the next step to import the content and by content we means this demo content so we need these and we can modify these and we can customize these according to our need and basically we will import the whole website to our website and then we can customize this so in order to do this we just need to go back and here are the details so make sure you select all of these and now we will click on import and this will start importing the demo data so let's wait for this once the import completed then as you can see all done have fun you can view your website and as you can see we have that whole website as you can see all the links the menu the logo and everything that the demo has now this is without images because these are the copyright images and we can use our own images you can also get these images and you can use here on your website but i would suggest to use the copyright free images for your website so this was how you can create this website very easily with a few steps you just need to buy the theme and just import the demo data now you can customize these things according to your need for example you can change the title the text you can upload your own audio and video files you can customize the menu you can remove the unwanted links and you can link this to your paypal account and so on so this is how you can create this website and then you can customize this according to your need I will customize this in another video because this video is getting very lengthy and if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next.